So over the last eight weeks, I've traveled to six different cities, primarily just carrying my computer and a small suitcase. So that poses the question, how can I travel to all these cities while still running and growing my business? Well, that's what we're gonna discuss right here. So I just came back from Paris today and I was sitting on the plane just thinking how grateful and lucky I am that I get to travel to all these cool and interesting places while still being able to run, manage, and grow my business pretty much just from my computer. So that got me thinking, how could I relay some of the principles I've learned to help you guys out? Now we live in such a cool world where literally, if you wanna run a six figure, seven figure, maybe even eight figure business, you can pretty much do that all digitally and you can travel the world while doing that. And me, myself, I'm living proof of that. Maybe not the seven figure, eight figure boundary, but definitely six figures, which is pretty cool. As I said, over the last six weeks, I've been to Paris, Amsterdam, Mallorca, Madrid, Saint-Tropez, and Brussels. So six different cities. Plenty of traveling, a lot of it for work, a lot of it for fun. But nonetheless, when you're traveling for work, is that really work? So let's get back to the point. I have structured my business accordingly. Th this isn't something that just comes out of the blue. No one just gives you the opportunity to travel while still earning good money. It's something that you have to consciously structure and you're gonna have to say no to a lot of things. So to me, it comes down to one big concept, and that is begin with the end in mind. It's a Stephen Covey principle. So right now what I need you to do and what I had to do is get clarity as to what you actually want in life. Because if you look online and on social media, one page is telling you to just travel and have fun and forget about money or building a business. And then the other one is telling you to scale, get offices, get employees. Both routes are really cool, but you have to think about what is best suited to you at your current stage, what do you feel comfortable with? So for example, with me, I know that if I got offices and I started payrolling, that I could easily take my marketing agency to seven figures by the end of next year. And I know that, but I also know the amount of sacrifice, the amount of work it would take. So I've had to say no to a lot of things. And although, it's cool, it's cool to say you made seven figures this year. At what cost does it come to? A lot of you guys know I'm 17 years old. I don't need that sort of pressure, that sort of stress at this age. For the next three or four years, I wanna continue living sort of like this laptop lifestyle and not really being tied down. So that's me personally, I've established that. You all, on the other hand, you may be a bit older, your financial goals might be a lot higher than mine. And in that case, you're probably gonna have to put infrastructure, you're probably gonna have to settle down in one place. And if that's the case, that's fine. But for those of you that do wanna travel while also having a good life, we get to the first issue, which is obviously money. Now, if you're looking to travel, you're gonna have to find a vehicle. Now, what a vehicle is, for example, for me, digital marketing is my vehicle. Now, luckily, digital marketing, as I said, you, you can easily go to seven, eight, maybe even nine figures. And it's something that's all done online. So you don't really need to be tied down to a place. But digital marketing is my vehicle. I'm passionate about it. I love it. And it lets me travel and also make a very good living while I'm at it. Now with you, a vehicle might be trading stocks. Maybe you wanna be an influencer. You're growing your blog, your YouTube, your, your newsletter, whatever it may be and that's sustaining you and letting you travel. For example, if you decide to start a course and you do it right, so you get a good mailing list, you utilize YouTube, you run some Facebook ads, you get some affiliates involved. I have friends who have made multiple six figures just from a course, and that means they can travel, they can teach online, and that that is their vehicle. So as I said, maybe you might wanna trade stocks, maybe you might wanna come up with a course, maybe you wanna go down my route, which is digital marketing, maybe you wanna go down the route of e-commerce and there's crazy people just crushing it when it comes to drop shipping, FBA, all this sort of stuff. Say you're a content creator, you can actually build exclusivity from the fact you travel so much. So for example, say you go to Paris and live there for three months, you can actually announce that on your social media, say, look guys, I'm only here for three months. If you want a content made, etc., etc., then move to New York, and then after that, Amsterdam, whatever it may be. My point is, you have to find the correct vehicle. And, and I hate to say this, right now, if you're a doctor, it's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. Because you just don't have the correct vehicle in place to get you the sort of lifestyle that I'm talking about right now. But if you're stuck to a place, pretty much if you work for someone, it makes it extremely hard to live the sort of lifestyle that I'm talking about. So we have the vehicle. Number two, you have to figure out the logistics. For example, for me, the challenge has been, how do I grow my marketing agency when I'm barely in London? I don't have offices, I don't payroll. I just work with a team of amazing, amazing freelancers, but you, you see the barriers there. So with me, the conclusion that I've come to is that with my marketing agency, there is a cap that I can get to. So for example, with me, I think it'll be around seven figures. So I still have a long, long way to go till I get there. But at least I'm not sitting here thinking that I'm gonna make a hundred million from my marketing agency when 
it, it's incongruent with the lifestyle I want to live. So it's just something I've come to terms with. And with that understanding, I'm looking at other sources of income, which you should be doing nonetheless. I'm starting to build up those other sources of income. So rather than say seven figures in one vehicle, I could be making a quarter of a million in four different vehicles. So say you're a content creator, for example, there are companies, if you're good, that are going to be like, look, we want to put you on a retainer basis. We want you here. We want you creating content for us on a weekly basis. And at first you might be like, this is ridiculous. Of course, I'll go for it. But if your heart is set on traveling and you accept this offer, you're basically just selling your soul. And I think that's the hardest part, just saying no and knowing when to say no. Because if you're good at something, it gets to a point where you're no longer looking for those cool opportunities. You're actually having to say no to them. And you no longer have to worry about more interesting opportunities coming through your door. Your pipeline is pretty much always full. So as I said, the biggest challenge that you're going to have to face and I've had to face myself is just knowing when to say no. As I said, when that company wants to pay you 2,000 a month, 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month retainer, and you're looking at those numbers and going, this is ridiculous, but it means you don't get to live the sort of lifestyle you want. Trust me, it's hard to say no, but saying no is the only way you're gonna truly be fulfilled and truly be happy. So there are a lot of other little nuances that go on in my head, but those are two main questions. Number one, do I have a vehicle set in place so that I can actually afford to travel while also living a good lifestyle? And number two, what are the logistics? How am I actually gonna make this happen? How am I gonna ensure that I'm not tied down to a place? Or if my business is tied down to a place, I've got someone managing it, I've got a good team around me to handle it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, it means the world to me. As I said, I'm trying to upload more. Things have been super, super hectic the past two months, obviously with all the traveling, with the business growing quite quick. So I really appreciate all the support. Leave a like, and also let me know, where should I travel to next? Don't approach me like you know, but I came to get the trouble out.